Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at how we calculate Vmax and Km from an ED Hofstede plot. So we're going to jump over into Excel. Okay, so now we're back over in Excel and we have the same data that we had for our Line Weaver Burke plot. But this time, we're going to manipulate it in a different way for the ED Hofstede plot. Now, the ED Hofstede plot, you need to plot the velocity in column B here against the velocity divided by the substrate. So I'm going to create my column here in C, which is going to be my velocity divided by my substrate. I can create the formula, so equals the velocity here in B2 divided by my substrate concentration here in A2. I'm going to create that formula, and then I'm going to replicate that down across those columns, just as I did with the Line Weaver Burke plot. What I'm also going to do is to copy the values in column B and paste them into column D. The reason I've done that is that what you have on the left-hand side will be plotted on the x-axis, what you have on the right-hand side will be plotted on the y-axis. It just makes it a little bit easier. So if I highlight those values, I go to Insert and click on the XY scatter graph, then we get our linear trend. So again, what you need to do is to click on one of the data points, right click and add trend line. We have the linear trend line selected, so that's fine. We can also then display the equation on the chart. And I have already gone and worked out what I need for my forward and backwards forecast. So I'm just gonna put the values in that I've already worked out. And what this should do is extend the X and Y intercepts. So you can see that we've now extended the trend line to both the Y and the X intercepts. Now for the ED Hofstede plot, Vmax is equal to the Y intercept. That's given by our C value in the format MX plus C. So our Vmax is equal to 40.155. Km is given by the negative gradient. So our gradient here says 81.557. So Km, because it's a negative gradient of negative 81.557, will be 81.557. And that is how you can use Excel to get Vmax and Km from an ED Hofstede plot.